In this lecture, we're going to discuss some of the homologous structures that are found between the male and the female. Um, we're also um, going to discuss and I'm going to show you some of the, um, the pelvic floor muscles. Okay, so the first two structures I want to point out. So first off, you have the glans penis and you also have the clitoris. So the clitoris is here. So this is in, so I'm trying to get an anterior view here. So this here is the, the anterior view of the clitoris. Okay, and so both of these structures, they have um, really a high density of neurons. And so with this high density of neurons, you know, these structures are gonna be very, very sensitive to touch. Okay, but um, what I wanna show you kind of like the schematic of what they're like shaped like so you can see what I mean about homologous structures. So what I'm drawing here, so this here is gonna be the female clitoris and it's shaped like this. So this here is the female clitoris. So this part is the glands of the clitoris. Okay, and this part over here, this is the corpus cavernosum. So what about the male? So this part is the glans penis, so very similar. And then as we go down at the root of it, so this is the bulb. So this is the bulb of the penis. Okay, so um, you have the bulb and then here on the, what's connected this way, so what's here in the middle, this is the corpus spongiosum. So spongiosum. Okay, and the, so if you think about it like this is like the hot dog, and then the part that's where this part sits, so here on the outside, so this is the corpus cavernosum. Cavernosum. So if you look here at the difference, right, between the two, so the glans clitoris is what's connected to the corpus cavernosum. But it's different in the males because with the males, you have the glans penis, which is connected here to the corpus spongiosum. And so what's here on the outside, this is the corpus um, cavernosum. Okay, so corpus cavernosum here is for the females on both three sides. Okay, well, what about this other part? So coming down this way, so these are known as the bulb, so bulb of the vestibule. Okay, so see how there's only one bulb here that's in males, but in females it kind of, it bifurcates here. So there's two of these bulbs. Okay, and so um, the vestibule is just like the region, like the, oats. so the term for vestibule is like the opening. And so this is like, the region within like the vaginal orifices and like all this region where the clitoris is and everything. Okay, but um, I also wanna show you like some of the glands. So what's directly inferior here to the bulb of the vestibule, so that's what's right here. So this is known as the greater vestibular gland. So you have the greater vestibular gland and then here in the males, you have what's known, so these um, glands here. So these are the bulbo urethral glands. So I pointed it out in a previous um, video, like showing the glands. And I'm going to show you here like what it looks like on the models, but we want to first like get a schematic of like some of the homologous structures. Okay, so um, what are the homologous structures and some of the glands? So the glands, uh, clitoris and the glands penis, both of these are homologous structures. And then we also um, look here at the, um, so corpus cavernosum, you look at the bulb of the vestibule, which is here, but it's bifurcated, and which is similar to here on, um, which is the bulb is right here, where it's connected to the corpus um, spongiosum. Okay, and then, so those are the two structures, but then the glands that are very similar so the greater vestibular gland and also the bulbo urethral gland. Because 
both of these are going to secrete fluids that help to um, lubricate you know during um, intercourse for the male and and the female so let's look at the model all right so if i look here at the bottom coming at from an inferior view here so this is the bulbo urethral gland you can see it here so that's the bulbo urethral gland and then for females the bulbo the vestibulo um, the greater vestibular gland that's what's going to be found right here okay and the bulb of the vestibule is this part right here so this is the bulb of the vestibule and then um, let's see uh, so then this part here this would be the bulb of the penis so if I get this model, so let me get the model here together. Because remember I showed you that it's like two structures. So if you, it's kind of hard to see. But you have to remember that this bulb here of the vestibule, it's um, on the other side as well. So that's why it's shaped that way um, as shown on the board. Okay, so um, now that we've identified like some of the homologous structures, let's look at the pelvic floor muscles. Okay, so um, let's identify some of the stuff here on the, the penis as well. So this part is the corpus, um, the corpus spongiosum, right? because that's why I said what's the corpus spongiosum. That's where you know it's like the hot dog part, right? The corpus spongiosum, and then this is the glans penis, and then what's here on top, right? This is the corpus um, cavernosum. Okay, so if you kind of Look at it, you can see these different like sinusoids. And so like when a man has an erection, these sinusoids are gonna be filled with blood and then so the penis is gonna uh, become erect. Okay, and so um, one thing I'll also say is about, uh, if you've heard of Kegel exercises. So the Kegel exercises, what they do is they help to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. Okay, and so these are, these are the muscles that the Kegel exercises are, um, that's what they're targeting. And by doing these exercises, it helps to um, improve um, sexual function. Okay, so looking at some of the pelvic floor muscles. So here at the bottom, this is the bulbo, because it's at the bulb. So uh, bulbo spongi spongiosum muscle. And then um, because this here is the, the ischium, so this is the ischio, and then it goes to the, um, where the cavern, the corpus cavernosum is so the ischio caver, uh, cavernosus muscle and then this part is the transverse or superficial transverse perianal muscle because this here is where the the anus is 